Hey guys, Capra here and welcome to this week's farm vlog and the first item up here is we have our first fawn of the season. I saw her out in front so I ran and grabbed the camera and by the time I could make it out there I just got the tail end. It's a single fawn and uh, she's a beauty but we did get some more footage of her. She came back the next evening which I'll show you a little bit here later in the vlog. Dang it. Man, they're quick. Well, when we put this cedar tree up against the front of the house, I figured there might be some birds that uh, want to take advantage of it. And sure enough, oh, we got us a new nest. So I don't want to disturb it or do anything to it now. So we'll have to wait and see who's in there. Might be a good time to put the uh, other camera up there, right on a branch. Hopefully a snake doesn't, uh, whew, ugh, just thought of that. Hopefully a snake doesn't crawl up that tree right into it. Ugh. I don't hear anybody. I don't think anybody's hatched yet. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Okay, so we got these new Rio Link video cameras, and the other night here, I got this snapshot picture emailed to me. It's at 1.30 in the morning, and I'm like, what in the world is this? So just for a little perspective, this is the view of that camera. This is what it looks at. It looks at the front of our house and the driveway, and the night vision is usually pretty spectacular. You can see everything at night. So it's kind of bizarre, that snapshot that I got, but there is a video with it, so let's check out the video of what it is. Pretty bizarre I guess I mean so normally you'd say yeah that's maybe a moth or something but then what's this donut hole here that's showing right now what in the world then is that so this poor moth is stuck in a weed here upside down so I'm gonna try and free him it's a very interesting green color no idea what it is. Uh oh. Oh, hope I'm not too late. Hang on. Hang on. I really don't want to touch you. Oh, you're going to make me touch you. Whoa. All right. Might be a little too late. You were probably out here baking all day long. Pretty. Okay, this is a quick vlog of some items that I recently ordered that I think are gonna be good to have on hand, mostly for emergencies. So these are solar powered, all right? This is a solar panel and they're heavy duty. Not only are they solar powered, but they can charge uh, your phone. So it's a multi-flashlight, it's a window break, it's a solar charge flashlight, and it's got a USB charger. Oh, it's got a compass. Let me find the USB charger. And this round metal thing is a magnet. Okay, and on the end here, there's the USB. You got a USB, 
and the kind of the older phone plug in down below which is fits all kinds of different devices so this thing when you get get it recharging it'll charge up your devices via that USB and I think a four pack of these if you buy four it was cheaper I think it was 80 bucks maybe or a hundred but I'll set these out to charge and you can you can plug them into electricity and leave them charged all the time and then if you have an emergency you just grab them and take off but um, I paid for these these are all just cappers prepping ideas there I'm not getting paid or getting anything from anyone these are from uh, Patriot Patriot lighting oh that's a steel blade that hook there all right I didn't see that your window break your magnet and the compass all right let's have a look at their lighting options so if you go with the red you have that you have different types of strobes here And then if you hold it, then you have this main light. You have high, medium. You have high, medium, low. I guess there's high and low and flash. High, low, flash. So pretty sweet. And then, you know, all you need is a USB charger. And then you just leave them on charge in the house for whenever you need them. Good deal. Okay, and we also saw our first clutch of turkey giblets here. Mrs. Capper videoed this on her way out to work one morning just a few days ago. Interesting thing here, they're going to fly here in a minute, and they're going to fly up in a tree. So I'm not sure how many days old after they hatch it takes them to fly, but I suspect it's not really too long. Everybody likes the hot tub. Look at this bad boy. Nah, you can't fit under there, buddy. Pretty big one. And if you haven't seen our last few videos, this is the beginning of our new Kentucky Farmhouse Rehab. Mrs. Capper has already got two long days there, so there's a couple of before pictures. We now own it. We just closed on it just a few days ago. And uh, she took her power washer and started in on it. We have day one video posted. Um, here you can see the after day one. And I'll put a link in the description down below um, if you, you want to see that. And also part two is going to be coming out very soon.